And joining us now live is Britain's Foreign Secretary, Dominic Robb, one of the leaders of the United Kingdom's response to COVID-19 and this distribution of the vaccine. Mr. Foreign Secretary, good morning, sir. It's nice to have you with us. Great to be on the show. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, I'm sure there's great pride in this moment. There's also great pressure. The eyes of the world are upon you. How confident are you that you can successfully inoculate the British public? Well, it's look been a, a, a real challenge. We've all gone through this pandemic in different ways, but it's affected us all economically as well as in terms of loss of life and the health factors. So this is a really important day, and we recognise it's an important day for the UK, but also for the world. So we've obviously got the regulatory approval through MHRA, which is our regulatory body, to the very highest standard, so we're confident that it's safe. Then it requires a big distribution effort, uh, which your, uh, your piece touched upon. That's about uh, distributing the, the vaccine uh, and then making sure that we can get the needles in arms, as we, as we, as we put it. And we're prioritising uh, the elderly, those over 80, those in care homes, both staff and residents. Um, and then over time, uh, other people above the age of 50 and those with uh, vulnerability or a particular uh, health condition. Mm. And that's the way the strategy is to get us through to the spring uh, where we can have enough people vaccinated uh, that we can start to move into a whole different place, something a bit closer to normal life. Uh, and there's still some work to go. As, you, as mm. you rightly said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But there's light at the end of the tunnel, and not just for Brits, but for the world, I think, too. Mr. Secretary, some Americans are probably waking up just now and seeing that the, the Brits have started. There are shots in the arm and they're thinking, what's taking us so long? Over there, do you have the opposite problem? Do some of your citizens say, wait a minute, why are we going so fast? How come the Americans haven't, haven't yet approved this? Are you battling vaccine skepticism or, or worry there? I think there's always uh, some people that will be concerned about this, but you heard from Margaret Keenan uh, telling people to go for it. It is safe. I think our regulatory body, the MHRA, uh, has a world-renowned uh, reputation for the very highest standards. And, of course, if you look at this Pfizer-BioNTech uh, vaccine, it was a German-US uh, research project manufactured in Belgium, we're distributing in the UK. And I think that gives you a sense to which this is not just an international challenge, but that the solutions are going to be international, which is why we're not just focused on, yes, of course, vaccinating our own people. That really matters to us. We want to get life back to normal in the UK. We want to protect lives. But we've also been working with uh, internationally a Gavi summit, uh, the so-called COVAX facility, both of which really are all about making sure we can get an equitable distribution around the well, particularly to the most vulnerable people in the most vulnerable countries, because we recognize a global pandemic requires a, a global solution. You mentioned this is a marathon, not a sprint. And in the meantime, it will take time for the entire population to be vaccinated. So what is your message to the British public? As I understand it, they're as pandemic weary as we Americans are. Um, but in terms of masks and social distancing, even as the Brits are being vaccinated, what are you telling them in terms of those kinds of behaviors? So we won't get to a stage where we can uh, relax into a different world of much lighter touch restrictions until the spring. And that requires us to go through the process of uh, making sure we vaccinated the most vulnerable people and the elderly and those with latent conditions. The, 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 the real aim of the vaccine is to take the fatality rates out of it. So it's much more akin to something like a, 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 a normal flu, if I can put it that way. In the meantime, we've got a tiered uh, set of restrictions in place, depending on the locality, depending on where the virus is most prevalent, uh, and uh, all sorts of restrictions. You mentioned masks, other things, social distancing, uh, limits to businesses that can open and how they can function are all in place. And we've really ramped up our testing. Uh, we've got the fastest testing rate in Europe, one of the, the, the leading in the world. And so those two measures, the tiered restrictions and the testing, are the important bridge to get us through to the spring when vaccination and the completion of the, of the vaccinations that we need to move out of the current set of restrictions into a, a better place, more like normal. That's the strategy. And I think people understand it. People, we've, we've lost over 
over 60,000 people in this country as a result of this uh, appalling virus. It's affected all countries, but um, we've, we've, we've suffered our, our, our fair share, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, so I think people want us to want the confidence and the reassurance to know that A, we've got a plan, uh, and B, that we can uh, take the sensible, sure footed steps to deliver it. And that's um, what I think today shows. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations, sir. Good luck uh, with this important work very quickly. Do the Queen, Prince Philip, are they, are you expect them to get vaccinated and might they do it on camera? I'm not sure whether they do it on camera, but I'm sure arrangements will be made according to the uh, the, the, the phased approach that I set out. Um, and uh, like any family, uh, you know, they will have felt the pressures and all the um, uh, the worries that, that surround this vac uh, that surround this pandemic as well. Yes, British Foreign Secretary Dominic Rob, thank you for your time, sir, this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Good to talk to you.